Moving on from the social media balance sheet, I want to look at engaging customers, which is a big part of where we are and where we're going. Because the single greatest challenge is content. Whether it's words, images, videos, it's about creating content. And as John said, you know, the update might be not very interesting. It may um, just be a very corporate face, in which case you might have a corporate account as well as a customer-facing account. In the same way that many organisations have two websites, certainly publicly listed organisations often have the corporate website that contains details of the share offering, share price, performance and reporting, and the uh, customer website really is about the shopping cart or what else can be purchased from the company. You've got to really start by thinking about what's in the strategic plan. Content's great, but what's, what's actually in the plan? What are you really trying to achieve with social media? Is there another way you can achieve it? And going back to a comment John made earlier about the um, about segmentation, if you can achieve it in some different way, why would you bother using it on social media? So fundamentally, what are your objectives? What are you trying to get out of it? Will it deliver what you need, or is it going to deliver something totally different? And when you know what your objectives are, how can you translate that into social media? It does need to go through a translation bridge. You need to look at those objectives and the corporate plan, and then how it can be communicated to your target audience. I'll give you an example. There's a company in Australia, uh, and they use um, YouTube to achieve part of their business objectives. They sell um, a machine, a saw. So it's not sold to general, the general public. It's sold to tradesmen in, in the main. And this particular saw, we'll, we'll have a peek at it later, but this particular saw cuts through mortar. So if I have a brick wall and I just want to cut a little section, this particular saw will do that for me very neatly. But one of the biggest questions they kept having was, how do we change the blades? Because it's quite a complex bit of machinery. The blades are um, about 200 US dollars per blade, and you need two of them for it to work like this. But it was quite complicated to explain how did you change them. So what they did was they showed somebody changing the blades on YouTube. So you could say one of their business objectives may have been, we want to reduce the number of telephone calls, the help desk gets. Can you imagine the telephone call? Hi, I've got my saw here and I want to change the blades. What do I do? Right, okay, can you hold the large black handle? Yes. Can you see the button and you're looking, where's the button? And you're doing this over the telephone. And it's actually, it's a dangerous instrument as well. Whereas this way round, they've made it visual. And so you've literally got a guy who, who's dressed up looking like a tradesman and saying, this is how you change the blades. First of all, I take it here. I turn it over, I push this button, I take this out, and they're giving you the entire example. And for me, that's a brilliant use of a business objective, reducing the number of telephone calls somebody on the help desk is getting that might not even use the saw. That's the worst thing. You call a help desk and you don't know that that person is going home in the evening and cutting holes into brick walls. Maybe they're not, maybe they are. But it's one of the ways that you can usefully use social media to achieve your business objectives. Okay, in terms of updates, and I'm calling them all updates, but just as sort of a headline for the three items. The first things you need to be aware of are the logo sizes, the logo shapes which are all on there, and how long the biography or the information about the organization can be. And in most cases, it's not that long. I would suggest as marketing professionals, you should prepare all this information for your company so that everybody uses the same, whether it's the 140 or the 160 characters, it's the same message being used everywhere. It's consistent. And you also make available any logos and then again, you think about the updates 
and how you can translate those updates to actually make them interesting and useful.